Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am John Brown and today I'm checking out this head I recently picked up, which is missing its name badge, <laughs> but it's a VHT Pitbull 100 CL amplifier. So VHT changed their name to Fryet. See, I can pronounce it right. <laughs> um, not too long ago, actually. I think it was probably around the mid-2000s. As you can see, I've not even turned it on yet. And um, they have always been famous for their particularly dry sound. And when I say dry, I mean that you really have to dig in to get the saturation that many of us are used to on an amp such as a 5150. And um, it basically brings out a different style of playing because it requires quite a bit more work. But there's quite a lot of notable users in that have used VHT amps over the years. One of the guys from Helmet, main dude, and um, Rob from Volby apparently uses a Sig X Live. Um, James McIlroy, who's a friend of mine who played in Cradle of Filth, he swears by his Ultra Lead, which is very similar to this amp. Actually, Dave Fjerkwitz as well. If you guys have seen the video of Hiromi Uhara timeout, he's playing a VHT in that video. So they are made by Stephen Fryett, who did a killer job on making a really unique sounding amp. Like it doesn't really sound like anything else I've ever heard. So yeah, this particular model has two channels and a graphic EQ on the master section. It's 100 watt EL34 powered, whereas the Ultra Lead, the flagship model, was a three channel amp where the two gain channels would share their EQ. So there'd be some extra controls at the front here. And the power section was KT88, which gave it more width and tighter bottom end. So yeah, it's a two channel amp, bass, middle and treble, gain and volume. And it has three switches on each of the channels. So we have here, I think this is the boost switch, obviously to boost some gain. We have an edge switch, which saturates the upper end frequencies a little bit more. And we also have a shift button here, which obviously shifts um, the mid range, basically. I actually think it shifts all of the controls from what I remember. We have a master volume on the front and there is master presence and depth on the back on that side. There's an effects loop, which can be switched between parallel and serial. There is no MIDI control again on this amp, which is a shame. You can select what channel you want the master EQ to be on, which is great. So say if you wanted just a boost in the mids for leads or something like that, then it's possible to do something like that. Um, and I believe that on the foot switch, you can turn the EQ on and off. Yeah, you can. So the EQ almost acts like you've got even more channels, which is pretty great. So yeah, anyway, the standby switch here has a one and a two on it, as well as a zero. So zero is obviously in standby mode. Two means you use all four power tubes, whereas one means you use half power, 50 watt. So obviously I'm just gonna put it on full power. Right. <laughs>
Okay. That actually sounds really, really, really solid. So it's a little bit noisy. I think it needs new valves. So that's one thing that I'm going to have to do in order to get it up to its former full glory. But for now, let's just try and get some bit more dirt out of this. Oh yeah, I forgot, we also have a switch on this channel to go between high gain and normal gain. <laughs> So that was high gain, let's turn the gain up now. is a really good sounding clean channel. Right, let's see what we can do when we add an extra gain stage to this. That's really quite a lot of gain. It's actually the volume. That's what it is. Let me turn that down just for a second. Right, so I've got the, all the gain all the way in full. Controls are still at noon, not using the EQ. the edge switch. Sounds absolutely incredible. Right, let's turn on a pedal and see what sort of territory it gets me into for the for the green channel. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Right, let's try and refine it a little bit more. So I'm just going to add a little bit of treble, maybe a little bit of mid. Sounds fucking bonkers good. All right, okay, I'm gonna move to the red channel now. So I've just flicked the switch to normal mode. Everything's on middle.
just sounds fucking glorious. Again, right, let's turn the edge switch and the um, and the boost switch. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Let's see what the shift switch does. It's pretty fucking loud, isn't it? Let's turn that down a little bit. As you can hear, there's a little bit of noise. And this sounds to me like a preamp tube. <laughs> Let's flick it into high gain mode. Woof. That is so noisy. You hear that? As much as this noise is annoying me, it sounds fucking glorious. Imagine how good it's gonna sound when I get proper valves in it. Just to let you guys know, I'm just gonna mute that for a second because it's fucking loud. Um, with all that extra noise, that the, the um, presence and depth controls are on noon on the back. <laughs> and it sounds that good. I've not even messed around with them. But now I'm going to try the EQ here. Hopefully it's turned on. It's not turned on. Let me turn the EQ on. There's a switch for it at the back here. Fuck, that just got even louder. Fucking hell. I'm actually starting to get a headache from how loud this is. <laughs> so that will be my cue to stop because it sounds fucking amazing. And I do apologize to my neighbors and to my lovely girlfriend upstairs who just had to put up with the absolute racket. So anyway, yeah, VHT, Fryet. Check them out. So unique sounding in terms of amplifiers. And it sounds glorious. I can't wait to just go over these preamp tubes and see what's going on. Um, hopefully it's not the caps because that would really, really suck. But it's a glorious sound and it still sounds good even with all that extra noise. And I'm looking forward to getting that fixed as soon as possible because it sounds fucking amazing. <sighs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the sound of the VHT, now Fryet amps. And uh, yeah, if you like the tone, let me know in the comments. If you hate the tone, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, have a very, very pleasant day and check out Riff Hard if you haven't done so. If you want to learn how to become a rhythm guitar machine, then you should have joined forever ago because it will definitely make you into a much better rhythm guitar player. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Peace.